Hey everybody, El Burrow Magic Mike here. This is uh, episode number two of our Washington Gold and Geology videos. Last week we had a video regarding just kind of a general idea of what's going on around in our area here. Uh, the Puget Sound area, Western Washington, the Pacific Northwest. Today I want to talk a bit more like a, a more centered idea around plate tectonics. Wait, wait, wait! Don't, don't, don't click off. Don't be, you know, bad memories, high school, college, whatever. Don't click away. We're be a bit more entertaining than a than a usual professor would be or a high school teacher. <laughs> this is all going to pertain about how to find gold and why gold is in the area around here. First off, we're in the North American plate. Big old plate going from the Atlantic plate, uh, the Atlantic fissure, all the way to the Pacific Ocean with the subduction zones. Where to begin? Washington State, the Pacific Northwest, is unique. One of the smallest plates in the area, actually in the world, is located just off our, off our coast here, along Northern California, Oregon, and Washington State is the Juan de Fuca plate. I have Juan de Fuca. I heard that. Juan de Fuca. Juan de Fuca. Juan de Fuca. <laughs> so, about uh, say about 800 miles out into the Pacific Ocean, there is a separation. There is a fissure, and it's actually separating. So you have the one of you can play that's actually pushing into the North American plate. That's current present time. There's also the San Andreas Fault going through California that's pushing northwest. Actually, I should be pointing this way, northwest through the uh, through our North American plate and the Pacific Ocean plate. What's unique is it's causing a rotation of our area between BC Canada, just just north of us here, and down into Northern California, the side of North American plate is actually rotating up towards and into itself. The center of this rotation is in Pendleton, Oregon. And here's a little a little uh, diagram of what's going on, the actual movements of the plate. So you can see, here's Canada, here we are, and here's California. They're literally squeezing Washington and Oregon together, causing fractures, fault lines, and uplift in the area. So with the, the pushing of the Juan de Fuca plate, as well as the uplift from the San Andreas Fault, causing this rotation. Quite unique. And that's why you have the Cascade Range, creating all these mountains, and with the subduction zone of the Juan de Fuca Plate, creating volcanoes in the area. You got Mount Hood, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, Mount Baker, Glacier Peak, and more, you know, there's a whole bunch more that I'm not naming off right now. The Juan de Fuca Plate is actually a part of a much larger plate that existed hundreds of millions of years ago, called the Farallon. You know that? Oh yeah, yeah. The Farallon yeah, Plate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Farallon Plate. And that actually is currently underneath the American North American Plate, uh, centered right around Utah, uh, Utah. So this Farallon split into two plates, and eventually, current day, we just have the one of the plate left. Left. So as the North American Plate moves towards the Pacific Ocean, the one of the plates is disappearing, getting smaller, it's shrinking to this subducting underneath Washington, Oregon, and California, and the entire West Coast. Nice. There you have mountain ranges, fractures, fissures, allowing hot gases, hot fluids to force their way up and through cracks in the, in the bedrock, creating these fissures, and you got these formations of quartz, and quartz always has gold. Well, not always. Not always. <laughs> but where there's quartz, there can also be gold. So we were trying to look for 
in the great northwest you're going to have all these different layers usually these layers will fall horizontally but because of all this uplift from all these different tectonic plates being moved around you're going to find them in angles literally all these layers of basalt sedimentary layers volcanic layers they'll be pointed towards the sky sky high gold Looking at one right now. Mm -hmm. I want to know what that is. It's a mountain. <laughs> it's a mountain. It's uh, not easy. Is that an ancient volcano? Yeah, sure, you bet. Is that an old sedimentary layer? Ah, uh, you bet. I don't know. Because I can't see it from here too well. It's a glacier tail all the way up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which we covered last week in passing a little bit in glaciers, but. Plate tectonics, just a quick little uh, overview. Quick? It was less than 10 minutes, right? Sure, you betcha. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not keeping track of time. My phone's right there. <laughs> but uh, it's lunchtime here. Have some little bit of food, some nutrients, and uh, back to digging. Yeah. Woo! Get that go. Catch Woo! you next week for the next lesson. Woo!